Welcome to our daily reflection from St Denis Lisvain. Today is Maundy Thursday. It's the day on which we remember that Jesus ate the Passover meal with his disciples. It was to be the last meal he would share with them before he died. And our reading this morning in the Old Testament was taken from Exodus 12. It recounts the time when the Passover was first instituted. At the time, Israel was in slavery in Egypt and God had come to set his people free. He told them to take a lamb, to kill it, to put the blood on the doorposts of their houses. And then that very same night, he passed through Egypt in judgment, killing every firstborn son. But where he saw blood daubed on a house, then he passed over. In other words, they were saved from God's judgment by the blood of a lamb. And when Jesus arrives on the scene and is met for the first time by John the Baptist, do you remember what John the Baptist says? Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus is the Lamb. And so when he sits down to eat this last meal with his disciples, he does so knowing that he is the true Lamb that he will soon be killed. And just as the lamb in Egypt became a substitute for the firstborn son, so Jesus will become our substitute at the cross. By his death, we will be set free from both the guilt and the power of sin. Well, in our Gospel readings, we read about that meal. And after they have eaten, we read how Jesus then washed his disciples' feet. That act symbolises that he came not to be served, but to serve. And this is to become the pattern for anyone who seeks to follow him. He says in chapter 13 of John's Gospel, verse 14, Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example, that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you will do them. In the laying down of his life for us, Jesus becomes the pattern for our lives. And more than that, in giving us this pattern by which we are to live, he becomes a pathway to blessing. You will be blessed if you do these things. And then he goes on to say this, a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. How has he loved us? By laying down his life for us. But as we live like that and love one another like that, so we are not simply blessed ourselves, but we also become a blessing to others. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples as we lay down our lives for each other. So we will display Jesus to the world. Let's pray.